They say size matters. Look at this. I know this is money. And that's one thing I do sometimes. I just take things I can sign on people and make money off of them. <laughs> and this. Hello, how we doing today? Robert Zabel, auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions, guys. And I picked all this stuff up. Gentlemen, him and his wife collected all kind of vintage antique toys. Most of them are cast iron from cannons to stoves. There's some toys in there like cars, but man, unbelievable stuff, guys. I didn't even see what's in these boxes here. All these boxes were loaded when we got there. So I can't wait to open all these up. I mean, take a look at this thing right here. Look at this cannon. All right, once again, guys, if you haven't subscribed to it, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell. You never know what you're gonna see. Get the notifications. Once again, this stuff, you can actually buy it. www.secondsense.com. And I'm gonna show you guys really quick, right after this, this inside the people's house. Just got a, they didn't want anyone videotape, and I just got a little tiny video of how they had the stove set up and a little bit of the toys. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, a lady passed away. This was this guy's and his wife's lifetime collection. But if I don't sell it, guys, it would go to the trash. I'm the person that's saving the stuff, giving it a new life for other people can enjoy it. And, man, it was such an awesome collection. I can't wait to show you everything else that we got in all these boxes. So, so just watch the video, though, show you. It's just a quick video of how the house was set up. All right, look at these shelves. All these vintage press steel toys and die cast toys there's cast iron cannons and man so much cool stuff everything on these shelves are going to be in the auctions unbelievable take a look wow take well, a look at these setup wow all these cool cast iron stoves they're on display like this and yes we had the joy of trying to wrap all these up but man very cool there's some other stuff that we didn't get to sell yeah. on that table so too bad this thing here. <laughs> Look at that. The receipts right here. Inbox $47.50. They paid for that. That's pretty cool. Is it missing one piece? Did one piece fall out? I don't know. It is nice though. You can go cooking with this, Josh. Make us some lunch today, maybe. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. And some of these might even be salesmen samples right there. Germany. Look at the ornateness. All these things open. You could probably actually use it to cook. So, I'm going to put this back on there. But man, unbelievable, guys. So much in here. Let's take a look at some of these boxes. What do you think, Chach? The paparazzi. Let's take a look at some boxes and see if we're gonna make some money today. Paper, paper, paper. Wild wow, wild paper in here. Holy smoke. Whatever this is, it is so heavy. That is solid brass. It has a name right there. October 1974. Joe somebody. I mean, this thing's got to weigh 15 pounds or so at least. Wow. You can hear it with a Thor tie. What else is in here? Another brass cannon. This one looks like you might actually be able to fire it. 
This one, you probably can fire too. A lot of these cans, you can actually put gunpowder in there and light them up and boom! Here's another one. So some of these are going to be older than other ones. All different values, there's different sizes. Nice artillery can there. It's going to... This one looks like it's brass top, and this is probably pot metal. Any more in there? So the first box, very, very cool. We got the stove over here. Man, they even take this box. They double taped it, that's how good the stuff is in this box. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow, Josh. That is pretty cool right there. Take this one off top first. And this guy had a heck of a collection. Look at that goes inside there. That's probably to get it smoke or imagine like smoke would come out of it or something. That is such a cool cast iron toy. It's actually marked all on top of here. It's going to be really hard to make out. So we turn it this way. It does say USA right there. Wow. Cast iron boat. This is probably like maybe 1920s or 30s. Very cool piece. But just don't know what you're going to see. That's why I love my job, because I see things like this. Wow. That is so cool. So all this stuff's going to be in our toy auction coming up. This says all state on the side here. Once again, so you'd put some kind of thing in there, turn it, it'd probably like shoot the can in or make a little pop noise or smoke would come out those are highly collectible just like this cannon right here the big bang oh. this has the dual tire looks like overall it's in pretty good shape huh chach yeah remember when you had your big bang can when you were a kid what is this what is this So cool. So somehow this is this pulls back like this. And try to put something in there. Oh Very cool piece, though. <laughs> That's it for later. So we've got so many more boxes to open up. Man, this auction's already looking amazing. Plus, we're going to have all kind of other toy decorations, baseball cards, so it's going to be loaded. We'll open some more boxes to see what else we find. You guys know I love vintage toys, and man, this is unbelievable stuff in this. I can't wait to see what else we got, what else we can find. What the heck is that? I'm gonna go with that stove right there. Take a look at this kind of stuff, guys. I have no clue. So that definitely goes like that. This will go on here. I'm not sure. 
This one might be like a salesman sample. Look at these pieces. Oh, look at that. Tin stove, German stove, Newberg gunmetal blue with gold doors, tray in center oven, kerosene tray burner under stove, two pots, a pan boiler, teapot, all with copper lids. Wow, wow, wow. So this whole thing right here, boom. Very cool piece. Man. Just goes on and on. Who knows what else we got, Josh? Let's take a look in this box here. Oh, man. Oh, it's a mold. So we can make chocolate cannons, Chachi. Just for your kids for Easter. And... Why are you shaking your head, man? <laughs> you never had a chocolate can when you were a kid? No. Oh. You have a lid! Tom, magic light. See? You said chocolate. As long as you hit him, it's chocolate. Oh, that's a lighter. So, and then you go. Pretty cool, huh, Charge? You ever see a cannon lighter? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. Oh, wow, look at this one. This is some kind of artillery gun, it looks like. Rapid fire. You probably would put caps in there. These are very cool pieces. Look at this. Unbelievable. And all those trains I got the one unit right behind here. I mean, it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic auction. Chachi's so excited about it. It's like, I mean, he loves cannons. Look at this thing, Chachi. I know you're going to be bid on this one. That's old looking. Very cool. Boys, somebody's coming to visit us. Nice. See, these are all different size cannons, and definitely affects the value. Some are going to be worth a lot more than others. And man, let's see what else we can find. Let's clean up this mess first. We got a coat here. Looks like a little tiny wood stove. Salt and pepper sugar, Chachi. Nice. Good thing it's made of wood. <laughs> What's this? Wow, that's interesting. It's a freezer. I me to cast metal. Oh, wow. That's nice. Look at that. It's an armored chest. We got this, this. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. That might be the biggest one I found yet. Now, that is a cannon right there. You worry he's gonna shoot? Watch when you point at him. This toy cannon? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, don't point the cannon at Chachi. I think it's gonna wall. Okay, people. Get more crazy. It won't go off, it's fine. Some cool stuff, Chachi. Yeah. Is that everything in this tote? All right, let's see what else we can find. Let's put this away. Right to the box, Chachi. Turn us around. 
Oh, nice. That thing is in there. I'm sure not missing nothing. Oh, yeah. Little army cannon. <clears throat> Looks like a little bang. <laughs> it says Premier USA. And these things actually shoot. It is. It's got the metal track still on there. Old tin. Oh! It's coming apart on us. Old tin tank. Oh, I guess you take the top off, and then this is how you would get it set, and then you put this on, and that would go. Pretty cool piece. These are some old pieces. Look at this one. That's right after World War One. Cool, cool, cool. And this giant oh, artillery gun. That turns it, I think. And this part needs to go open. Right. So, Ours a fun charger. Yeah, I've seen one of those on the huh? Three Stooges. <laughs> Cannons. His wife loves stoves. And what do you see? How many we got? It's going to be unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. So much stuff. Antique and vintage goodness. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh. We got one more thing in here. There it is. Another cannon. That one's pretty cool. Definitely old. You can tell how the wheels are made. So, we'll see what else. We'll grab some more stuff, open some more boxes, clean up this mess. All right, check out this press steel right here. And earlier, Chachi was like, don't point that gun at me. Remember, Chachi? I was like, this thing ain't going to shoot. That's kind of cool, though. I wonder who makes this one. I don't know who makes it. There's a... So like Mar -toys. Mar or something like yeah, that. Mar toys. It was battery powered. If it still works, you know. Probably lights up. Doo, doo, doo. Have like missiles, I think, that went here. And would shoot out. Pretty cool piece. Pretty cool piece. But look at this cannon. And this one. Oh. Look at that artillery cannon. This thing goes up and down. So that's moving that. It spins it around in a circle. And there's a mark right here. B and B Manufacturing right. Company. So you know, I don't know. I I don't know a lot about some of these cannons, but yeah, those ones like launch toys. What would you think? At least you put that all the way down. This one works. So what do you think? 50 bucks? 100 bucks? I, I've never seen them. So, that's the same company? That one, I couldn't find a mark on it. Huh, interesting. Well, not but it looks like it's actually the same. Oh, wow. There's some interesting stuff. We got the Jeep. It's like the old Tommy Tonka. Tommy or yeah. Tonka, yeah. Tonka. I think we have one of those. Yeah, this one has that piece. A lot of times this is busted off. So you know it's worth some cash. Oh, wow. Oh. And they say size matters. Look at this. The big bang cannon in the box with this. The stuff that makes it go bang. So interesting piece. Definitely have it worth more because it's got the box. We have to look up the 155 millimeter can and see what it's worth. I'm excited because I'll oh, look down in here. Coast Guard Defense. Oh, it's just a box. So I'm assuming one of these cannons or one we haven't pulled out yet probably goes to this box. 
And there's more boxes in here, it looks like. Interesting. One more box. See, boxes with boxes. So we'll have to look for this one. Should be easy to find. Two wheels in the front. Mm, I don't see no. it yet. Unless it's this guy. And then. Look at this old toy. Wow. It says Willie. This is on backwards, though. Right? Should it be the other way? I don't know. Maybe because then it way. folds yeah, better than so, yeah. Who makes this thing? Jeep? It's got like metal tires. I never seen one with metal tires like yeah, that. Yeah, it's old. So this is probably late 40s. Early 50s. Interesting piece, though. Oh, look at it. Top opens. So, we'll have to do some research on it. But some awesome toys. It's going to be a great auction. And uh, we'll open some more things. Who knows what else we'll find. But, guys, don't forget. Bid. www.secondsense.com Let's go through some more of these boxes. Ugh. Like I said, when I went to the house, I didn't get the chance to see any of this stuff. that's was already wrapped up. So I just had to take the word on it. So, stuff in here is just like, oh, no way. Oh, yes. I think this is a half track. Maybe not. Oh, it's old. Whatever it is. Look at that. It's got that streamlined look. So this could be from the 30s, early 40s. It's got wood tires. Oh, look at this. It's even got a little canopy that goes over the back. That's probably always missing. Just this canopy alone has got probably, you know, half the value of the toy. Cool piece. I don't see any marks on it. So who knows who makes that one. I have to do some research. This is the kind of stuff I love. See, I didn't get to see. I just thought it was mainly it was all cannons wrapped up. I didn't know it was all kind of cool toys. <laughs> it's just like the strangest one I've ever seen. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's right, you know. I wonder if they just added it on there. You think it really came like that? Reused parts, man. That's a little shot. Oh. It is cool. Looks like it should be on the other one. Oh, we got a little military cart. So this cart might almost looks like it would go with that, but different tires. Oh, what is this? Oh wow. Now ah, this is what I'm talking about. I know this is money. And that's one thing I do sometimes. I just take things I can sign on people and make money off of them. And this. Look at this thing. It's got the original tracks in there. What's the name on the front? It's Drunko. September 28th, 1920. Wow, is that a cool toy or what? So this is a wind up. Probably. It might work. It don't, it don't seem like it wants to work. A lot of time these people overwind them and <laughs> it just happens. So, but what a cool piece is that? That's from World War One. After the war, making kind of toys like that. Unbelievable kind of stuff. And I know we still got a couple totes left. We got more boxes left. Figuring it would be a tank or something, but this thing. Wow. Now that is a huge can. It says a 12 FAC on the bottom here. It's marked on side there. It's a pretty cool. I mean, and it's definitely got to be worth probably around 100 bucks, I imagine. A lot of these toys in here, you know, they got a lot of $50, $25, $100 toys. Someone is going to have add some nice toys to their collection. 
Look at this little thing. Looks like a little cork goes in here or something. Huh. I want to bust it. We got little wind up tanks. And the thing about these tanks here, almost all the time these treads, see these treads are already breaking off of there. But the treads are always broken and gone. So just having the treads, I mean someone can fix these. But a lot of times people just make new ones. Another little tin, tin toy. But we'll have more stuff we're going to be going through. So you guys will have to check it out. Once again, if you haven't checked out some of our other videos. What the heck is this? Oh. <laughs> it's a serious like brass knuckles there. Trench warfare right there. Ooh. So, but if you want to see what else is in this box, you're going to have to check back. See what else we find. We still have more stuff to go through from this stuff. And once again, all the stuff you see, you can actually buy it. www.secondtimes.com. We'll ship everywhere and look at all the stuff that we have out already. And so much more to go through.